How are you guys doing? This one's called Peter Chris, the best Kiss drummer. A watch channel talks Kiss. Now Peter Chris needs no introduction. He's the original drummer of Kiss. And Kiss started around 1973 in that region of time. And Peter Chris is the best drummer. And I'll tell you why. Well, Peter Chris had the best timing for Kiss songs. Peter Chris can speed up his drumming right at the right spots and perfectly. And Peter Chris played a little bit ahead of the Kiss songs, which suited the Kiss songs perfectly. If you take really notice of the early Kiss songs, Peter played a little bit ahead of the band and suited it just perfect. And Peter played the snare drum properly for the Kiss songs. Now, not I'm not really referring to Kiss here, but some drummers, they really overkeep the time with the snare drum. And you listen to it for a while within, a songs, within songs, and it really gets annoying. But Peter knew how to handle the snare drum perfectly. And how to like blend the snare drum with the other bigger drums, and how to keep that perfect time with the snare drum, and he knew how to do that just flawlessly. And some drummers, you know, they just rely on these blast beats, and people think that they're really good drummers because they do his blast beats. Peter doesn't need to rely on blast beats. He's a good enough drummer that he doesn't need to rely on blast beats. He can. He can like have the perfect timing where he can do the drum rolls and speed his drumming up at the perfect times, and he doesn't need to rely on blast beats. And Peter's drumming, he put it in the perfect context for any Kiss song, and he knew how to hold back the drumming properly or when to really let it go properly for the Kiss songs. He knew how to put everything in perfect context. And Peter comes from being a fan of big band drums. And you can kind of notice that in some of his style where it's, it goes um, to big band type of music. And Peter knows how to use the effects, drumming effects, that matches the Kiss songs perfectly too. And... Every Kiss song with Peter playing drums just sounds right. And if Peter is not playing drums in a Kiss song, the Kiss song just doesn't sound right to me. It just doesn't sound right. It, it's something missing, something lacking. The only way a Kiss song can sound right is if Peter is drumming. And Peter's got something, he's got some kind of a vibe he puts into the songs, a soul, a passion, and a spirit. And if Peter's not drumming, those songs do not have that vibe, soul, passion, and spirit. And even looking at the old Kiss articles from when Kiss first started, Peter was the real musician in the group. And the media always said that too. The earliest articles of Kiss describing the members and stuff, and the other members describing the other members, that Peter was described as the real musician in the group. And Peter had been in recording of albums before, too. He was in Kiss, and he was in a couple of groups called Lips and one group called Chelsea. So Peter was a experienced musician. And for Kiss to find Peter, who was a real musician, really accelerated Kiss into stardom, in my opinion. So that's really why the original drummer, Peter Chris, is the best Kiss drummer. And you're getting this from a watch channel. So it's just my opinions. And so thank you for your time, you guys. And we'll talk again soon.